For the first object we have two channels, UV map and light map. For the second object we have UV map channel only. When we are selecting two objects, we can see that UV map channel is existing in two objects and light map for one object only. When something is not synchronized, it can be like active map, position or render, so it will be highlighted by red. We can click right here and click OK and all the channels will be synchronized and missing channels will be created. Actually, it's this button, but you can evoke it through this red indicator. Let's have a look at another situation. So we have two channels, but on the second object, UV map channel is on the second place. On the first one, on the first place. What we can see if we are selecting these two objects? We can see that active map is not the same. On the first object it's UV map, on the second it's light map. So when we are selecting two objects and we, we are clicking here, we can synchronize these selected UV channels. But we still see this red in position. So again we can click here, click OK, and now our UV channels will be synchronized. Another situation when for the first object we still have two UV channels and for the second object we have one UV channel but with another name. When we are selecting two objects we can see three UV channels in the list. We can see that test UV channel is not active and it means that active object doesn't have this UV channel. Also we can disable multi-object mode and we can see in the list only UV channels of the active object. Now we can see a lot of red indication, let's fix it and synchronize our maps. When we are clicking here to synchronize them by name and clicking OK, so we are receiving three UV channels per each object and it's not what we needed to have. Let's return back and click again and change mode from by name to by order. And now we can have two UV channels per each object. But the problem is that we are missing the original name of the second UV channel. Let's copy paste this name, click rename all the maps and click find this name and replace it by the name from our template light map and clicking OK. And now for each object we have two UV channels with the right 